drop down to calculate how much money I made on YouTube after one year, 99 videos, 265,000 views, and 10,000 subscribers. So follow me. I wanna show you the amount of money I made and how I made that amount of money as a YouTuber with a small YouTube channel. I'm Shane of The Wealth Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I started to share my personal finance journey on YouTube about a year ago as a way to inspire others to live their best financial life by eliminating their debt, growing their income, and building their wealth. And I was doing the same by sharing my experiences of digging myself out of $108,000 of debt and increasing my income through salary increases and side hustling and by building wealth through investments. And I was hoping that as I share my journey on YouTube that I will also be able to earn some side income. Now, with so many channels having over 1 million subscribers, I'm really just a small YouTuber. And maybe when you think about it, I'm probably like a micro YouTuber. But even as a micro YouTuber, I was still able to make thousands of dollars. It's important to me to be transparent to you, my audience, my supporters, because you have been just that supportive through your views, your subscriptions, your likes, your clicks through everything that you have done to support this channel that has allowed me to earn extra income that has been able to supplement my income and even sustain me financially at times. So I really appreciate your support and I hope that you've been able to see through this video how you've allowed me to be able to earn income and I really truly appreciate you. So enough with the sappy stuff. You are here because you want to know exactly how much money I made on YouTube in one year as a small channel. So here it is. I made $17,108 last year on YouTube as a small channel. And I'm super excited about it. So now that's, you know, how much I made, but you might wanna know how I was able to make this amount of money, especially if you are interested in making your own YouTube channel to be able to earn some extra income. So here's the deal. I started YouTube actually 10 whole years ago. Yes, in 2010, I started my channel as a beauty channel, but I stopped posting videos and I didn't post again until 2019 where I started to consistently post videos about my personal finance journey. So when I originally started YouTube years ago, my channel was actually monetized. So I was actually earning money from YouTube for some time. However, in 2018, YouTube changed the monetization rules and I was no longer monetized as a channel. So they changed the rules to mean that you had to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And so I was not monetized when I started making videos again in 2019. So it took me several months to become monetized again. And I actually became monetized through YouTube AdSense in March 2019, but I didn't get my first paycheck from YouTube until April 2019. But the really interesting thing is that I actually was able to monetize my channel after one month of being back on YouTube in 2019, posting videos about my personal finance journey. So I was able to monetize my channel in a few different ways. I'm gonna go through the different ways that YouTubers are able to typically monetize their YouTube channels. And I wanna tell you exactly how much money I made through monetizing in those various ways over the course of this year. One way that YouTubers are able to typically monetize their channel, and it's usually the first way that they do monetize their channel, is through YouTube, Google AdSense. And so typically when you are watching a YouTuber who has been monetized, that means that they have been able to reach 
1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within one 12 month period, then they are able and eligible to become monetized to get ads placed on their videos. So whenever you see a YouTuber with ads either at the front, during the middle, or after their videos, then you know that that person is earning ad revenue through the YouTube Google AdSense program. So you're able to make money in several ways, and usually the more ads you put on your channel, the more money you're able to make. And also, the amount of money that you make really depends on the category or the type of video that you are producing. So on average, YouTubers make anywhere from one to $20 per 1,000 views, and that's called a CPM. And I average kind of on the higher end of CPMs. So on my YouTube channel, I tend to average anywhere from $8 to $18 per 1,000 views on my channel. So in the last year, I was able to earn 265,000 views on my channel. However, every view that you make doesn't really result in you making money. But the more views you make, the more money you make. With all the views that I had over the past year, I was able to earn $3,393 through YouTube Google AdSense on my small YouTube channel. Another common way that YouTubers are able to make money is through sponsorships. And typically this is the way that a lot of YouTubers make a whole lot of money on YouTube. So the question is, did I make any money through sponsorships this year? And I actually did not have any sponsored content throughout my first year. So that means I made zero dollars through sponsored content on my channel in 2019. Now, was I ever contacted by sponsors? Of course, I was contacted by so many sponsors throughout the year. And I did negotiate with some sponsors to, you know, asking them, you know, to pay me a certain rate, but some of them were unwilling to pay that amount of money. And then others were willing to pay the amount of money that I wanted, but it just wasn't a good relationship. I knew that you, my audience, was not gonna be interested in the, the information or the product or the tool that this company wanted me to share on my platform, so I just did not do it. So I did not have any sponsored content on my channel. And it's funny because some people have left comments like, this company must have paid a lot of money for her to sponsor. No, no companies paid any money to me to sponsor a video on my channel throughout 2019. The next way that YouTubers are able to make lots of money on their YouTube channel is through affiliate marketing. And actually a lot of small YouTubers are able to take advantage of this well before they are monetized, well before they even have 1,000 subscribers on their channels, well before they have 4,000 watch hours. And actually this was a method where I was able to start making money on my channel actually after just one month of being on the platform. So that is through affiliate marketing. So I was able to make money through various companies that I you know, told you guys about. I told you how I either made money through that company or how they were offering a product or a service and you were even made, able to make money and as a result, from me mentioning them and having their link down in the description box, I was able to make some money. So this was actually the way that I was able to make the most amount of money through my YouTube channel in 2019. So here's the amount that I was able to make. I was able to make 13,000, yes, $13,580 through affiliate marketing on my channel in one year. Another way that YouTubers typically make money on their YouTube channel is through their own products. And a lot of YouTubers, even before they're monetized, start to make their own products. But with the more subscribers you have and the more views you have, the more traffic you're able to drive towards your products. And then you even open yourself up to getting like a merch shelf on YouTube, which I was able to get once I hit 10,000 subscribers in November 2019. 
2019. I created several products that I was able to generate an income from throughout the year. So I have digital products that I sell on Etsy, such as spreadsheets so that you can track your net worth, your budget, and your expenses. And then I also have downloadable printable planner inserts that you can put into your Happy Planner, your Erin Condren Planner, and things like that so that you're able to track your cash flow throughout the week, throughout the month, to be on top of your personal finances. And I also have physical products like my shirt here. I have several inspirational money positive shirts and I even have mugs like this that talk about how I went from negative to positive. Not there yet, but I'm getting closer to positive. With many of these products, I didn't start selling them until the latter half of the year. So some of the products that I have in my Etsy shop, like my spreadsheet and my planners, I didn't start selling them until around October, November. And even like my t-shirts and my mugs, for example, I didn't start selling those until late November, December. So I haven't had a lot of opportunity to make money selling some of my products, but I expect to have even greater sales growing into this year. So I was able to earn just in these few short months and not even with a lot of promotion of my products, I was able to earn $135 through the products that I created. Within one year, I was able to make over $17,000 on the YouTube platform as a small channel. And I was actually able to earn most of this money in just a few short months. So I'm really excited about the potential to make even more money since I've started off this year being monetized, having over 10,000 subscribers and having thousands, hundreds of thousands of views on my channel. And I actually have goals to be able to increase that even more. So my goals are to increase my subscriber base up to 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. And I also want to have an average of one to 3,000 views per video. And I want to be able to improve my click-through rate by working on my thumbnails, my titles, my tags, and my descriptions. So that way YouTube is encouraged to send out my videos. And then when they do send out my videos, you are intrigued enough that you want to click on them and watch them. And I hope I'm able to not only be able to increase my income that I can then put towards my debt and also towards building my wealth, but I'm also able to inspire other people to do the same, to build their wealth by eliminating their de debt, increasing their income, and so that we all have a great community of people that are living their best financial life. I told you how much money I made and how I was able to make money as a small YouTube channel. But a really key factor that is missing from this video and will tell you how much money I actually was able to profit is the amount of money that I spent to even produce this show, to keep it afloat, and to be able to grow my channel to over 10,000 subscribers and to over 265,000 views in one year. So if you're interested in knowing how much money it takes to keep a small YouTube channel growing, you wanna drop down in the description box below and let me know that you're interested in seeing that video. If you wanna see more videos about how I'm able to increase my income on YouTube, check out this video right here. And I hope that you are subscribed and you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.